Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Science with Mrs. Dumas. Today, we're going to finish up Chapter 1, Lesson 1. Yesterday, we talked about six forms of energy listed in your book. Today, we're going to continue. Let's talk about energy and motion. All moving things have kinetic energy. When a boy throws a ball, he gives it kinetic energy. As the ball rises, it slows down. Its kinetic energy is gradually converted to potential energy. As the ball falls, the potential energy is converted back to kinetic energy. Let's talk about three forms of potential energy. Gravitational, chemical, and elastic. Gravitational. A raised object has what is called gravitational potential energy. Chemical. Chemical potential energy is stored in the connections that hold particles together. A car uses chemical energy when it burns gasoline. The food you eat has chemical energy. When your body digests food, chemical energy turns into other forms of energy that you use to move, talk, and live. Elastic energy. A stretch rubber band or a compressed springs have potential energy. This is called elastic potential energy. The more a rubber band is stretched, the more potential energy it has. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's session, finishing up chapter one, lesson one. I'm gonna turn you back over to your homeroom teacher now. See you tomorrow with Science with Mrs. Dumas.